Hello and welcome to another video on ChatGPT plugins and today we are going to look into another third party plugin known as Notable. So we can use this plugin to create notebooks in Python, SQL and Markdown to explore data and create visualization which can be shared. Now what Notable can do, it empowers you to do data driven analysis and you can do that by describing the data you want to work with the analysis you need, the techniques you want to explore and how you want all that brought together in a literate programming document. And you'll receive an entire notebook as a result. Now let's start with the plugin. So if you don't have this plugin installed already, you need to install it from the plugin store. And once you do that, it'll ask you to log in as well. So you can log in with Google or GitHub or LinkedIn, whichever way you prefer. Now I have already installed this, so let's start running prompts. Let's run our first prompt which is just creating a notebook and printing hello world. And now you can see the plugin is running and at the end it will show us the result as well as give us the link to the notebook. And if you open this, you will see that it creates the notebook for us and prints hello world. Now you can also run the code from here by pressing run button if you want to. Now in the second prompt, I'm gonna enter three CSV files that I got from the GitHub and let me just show you one of the file and show you the data in the file. So this is one of the file and the remaining files are also the same. Now the prompt that I'm gonna run will merge the data from all three files and place it in the newly created file name Xbox data. So let's run the prompt and you can see it is generating the table here and also if you check the notable window, we'll see the newly created table with the merged data in it. Now the next prompt I will run is to add the line plot of bid, open bid and price. And now you can see it is creating the line plot and showing it here in the chat GPT window and in the notebook also. So next prompt I'm gonna ask is the bidder who won maximum number of bids. And it is showing the result of the bidder and also it updates the notebook as well. So you can see the bidder who was the maximum number of bids. And lastly I want the top 10 bidders in descending order and bar plot for the same data as well. So as a result now it is showing me the data as well as the bar plot of the same data and you can also check the data and the plot in the notebook as well. So that's how you can use the notable plugin in ChatGPT. I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.